everybody. I'm going to go four-wheeling today. We'll take the camera with me. Uh, I'm going to head out into the woods and just uh, go around and see what I can find. I'm uh, not going to do anything crazy today, just keep it simple. Uh, as you can see here in East Tennessee where we live, got the, uh, the mountains all around us. We're kind of like in a bowl here. Uh, the woods everywhere, just over the mountains, to give you an idea where we are, just over those uh, mountains there is uh, Asheville, North Carolina, on the North Carolina line. Uh, so we've, you know, we're surrounded by uh, woods and trees and everything else. Uh, it's a little cold out here today, so I'm probably going to have to put on a bigger coat than this. Uh, so I'm going to go out there and take my camera and hopefully find some things uh, worthy of recording. So I'll see you out there. I've gotten stuck. Yes. I, I can't back up, so I'm going to try to move this tree out of my way and see if I can get any further. Well, I got the tree out of the way, so I'm moving on. Let's see if I'm able to make it out of here. Well, I see a clearing up ahead. Not one that I was expecting, so I may be lost. But if there's a clearing, I couldn't be that lost. where I came out of. Uh, looks like this field surrounds the whole thing. There's a house up there, which probably means I don't want to stay here too long. So I'm going to I'm gonna head over somewhere else. Well, it's about 6 o'clock. I'm back who knows where again. There's little signs of civilization here and there. I've been in here since about 1 this afternoon, so about 5 hours. I don't really know where I am, but I got a GPS just in case I get lost. Uh, stopped here. I don't know who cut all these trails, but I found some interesting stuff back here I wanted to show everybody. Here's what looks like. I, I, it's almost like this is a big trash dump back here. Here's what looks like an old washing machine. Uh, somebody's just dumped here. I don't know how they got here. Here's what looks like the remains of an old bucket. I don't know what that is barrels, another bucket, old cans, there's an old gas can, all kinds of little cans around here, uh, it looks like some old fencing, and then over in here, several big bales of barbed wire, old and rusted, looks like they've been forgotten about, and go even further that's the that's really old barbed wire I don't know if that's hay or what let's see an old looks like a salad dressing bottle maybe this is a trash dump old let's see rubber hose some more hose this almost looks like an old, old building. A bunch of old tin. Another can, a little road marker. Okay, that's interesting. Here's what looks like the remains of an old fence. This isn't even rusted right here. But you can see here's something interesting. I've noticed this around here. There's a lot of barbed wire in Tennessee. A lot of farms. Whenever you put barbed wire and wrap it around a live tree, as the tree grows, as you can see here, it actually grows into the tree. And from what I've been told, that'll eventually kill the tree. But here you can see the way that's just coming out of the tree and goes in right there. And the same with right there, it just kind of goes into the tree. So, I don't know. 
anyone happens to find this camera lying in the middle of the woods and with no one around it, and uh, maybe a small pile of bones, then chances are I never made it out. I'm standing in what looks like an old creek bed, long dried up. Uh, of course, we've had a drought, you know, over the last little while, but I think this has been dry for quite some time. I'm guessing a lot of this trash that I've been finding is probably maybe washed down the creek. Here's a, a bunch of carpet. I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know how somebody would get to this to dump it, but there's rolls of carpet, and I found a found an old car bumper down that way a little bit. Left the four-wheeler back over there. I'm just kind of looking around right now. Who knows what I'll find next. Maybe I'll find another four-wheeler. Well, I'm almost convinced now that whatever this is, back in the maybe 20s or 30s, that this was an old trash dump. There was all kinds of crap here. Old glass bottles with cork stoppers. Some of it's in really good shape. And you know the old phrase, one man's trash is another man's eBay. So let's have a look. Here's that old barrel, some more barbed wire. But look at this. Under this is all these these old glass bottles. Like that. And like this. It's like an old glass basket. Maybe it's old perfume bottles. That's kind of what they look like. I don't know, and there's old cans and all kinds of crap back here. So I'm going to look and see what all I can find. I was looking through some of the trash when this fell at my feet. It's an old bottle, completely intact, that says Purex, whatever that is. And it looks like there's still some Purex left in it. You know, I'm getting filthy here. This kind of makes me wish I brought my MacBook Pro and Air Card. I could be looking this stuff up on eBay and seeing how much it was worth. Well, I'm leaving the garbage heap now, and we'll try to find my way back. I have my bottle of Purex strapped down and everything else in the basket that I found that might sell well. So, I'm going to try to find my way back. Well, I made it back in one piece with all my trinkets, so I think I'm going to go get cleaned up. Hey everybody. Well, hold on. <laughs> oh, stop it. How do you stop the damn thing? Fingers not on. Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's that like the, the reporters on television. Oh, we're still we're still going. Go back there. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. <laughs> You're recording.